So what should we talk about? That's what I ask. What should we talk about? There's one thing that nobody is talking about, and it is the solution and the reason for all of our problems. Why are we, why are we arguing over uh, you know, white versus black? Why is this race thing so critical now that we're, we're now demonizing white people, black people, we're at each other's throats? Why? Why can you get on and say, I hate white people? The answer, postmodernism. How is it that we can now have communists? I don't care what you say about democratic socialists, but democratic socialists will always lead to totalitarianism. And they want it. They are marching in the streets saying, end of capitalism, end of USA overthrow the USA and we have people in Congress that are fine with that why is that happening postmodernism why are there 172 genders postmodernism why are our kids being taught that there is no truth postmodernism why is it that nothing matters postmodernism why is the hashtag me too okay to do to some people but not okay to do to other people? Postmodernism. And it's the one thing you don't hear anywhere. You don't hear anybody talking about it. And it is it is like it's like if we were in the 1940s and we were going to fight Germany, but we didn't even it's not that we it's not that we downplayed it or wouldn't name it. It's as if we didn't even know there were Nazis. We'd have no idea what we were fighting against. We'd have no idea who they were, why we were fighting, what we were fighting for. That is what we're doing. We are fighting the Nazis, not knowing that Nazis even exist. We're looking at these problems every day and we're arguing over the smallest stuff because that's what postmodernism does. That's what postmodernism wants. So you've given us the, the cause of these problems, right? But so what do we do about it? We, we all start to educate ourselves on what postmodernism is. That's the first thing. I mean, I mean, I th I, but I this, feel like the people who are marching in the streets saying, you know, open borders and the U.S., they're not going to they're not going to be the ones to go and take the time to read about they it. They don't. They already know it. If you've gone to the universities, the reason why you're marching is because you've been spoon-fed postmodernism. They know what it is. Okay? We don't know what it is. We're fighting a war like imbeciles. We are feeding into it. You know, this is, what, this is why I've spent a, a, a year writing this book, and I, I just said, we were just talking about Jonah Goldberg off the air. Uh, I, as I said to Stu today, I said, I wish I could write this book all over again. And that would be the third rewrite. I mean, I wrote the book once, and then I rewrote the entire book because I was like, that's not right. That's not, I've learned so much more since I started the book. I rewrote the entire book. And I wish I could rewrite it now. Because the more you learn, the more you see there is nothing else. I, I asked this audience, you were with me, most likely. You've been with me the whole time. And you know when I started talking about progressivism, you guys were in the studios with me. How many calls did we take? How many emails did we take? Stop talking about Woodrow Wilson. It doesn't matter. But mm -hmm. once you understood the difference between liberal and progressive, your whole world opened up. And you were like, oh my gosh, I know what they're doing. I got it. I got it. This is bigger than progressivism, and this is the end of the Western way of life, the end of the United States of America, and the end of the Western world. Western civilization is their target, and they announce it clearly. We better know our enemy.